Hello, welcome, welcome back. I'm Hannah and today we're going to be doing a, another Luxie ice watching video. I just got my order in the mail. I was like checking the tracking all day when I was at work. I came home, it still wasn't here. I was opening the drawer and checking it every five minutes and one of those times it was there. Um, so I haven't even looked at the shadows yet. I feel like usually when we start this, I've already looked at them and already kind of have an idea about how much I'm going to like the collection based off of how sparkly the pans look, which I feel like you can get a lot of information from how sparkly the pans look. But we're going to do that all together today. So I, I just opened up my cardboard box that it shipped in and inside that is this other little cute box. It has like a little thank you for your order sticker. I will say that based on the Instagram, like when they were revealing it on Instagram, I, I had various levels of excitement based on the colors, but really I could be swayed into liking almost any shade just based on the formula of it. So we'll see. And like there are, there were a couple that I was genuinely excited about. I think I was like, I think I'd say I was excited for like five of them and then four of them I, I don't really have high hopes for. So inside of that box, we have them wrapped up in tissue paper and I'm just going to put them into this empty tart palette. Ooh, I see sparkles. So then they're in there like this. And this first one I think is the darker purple that I was less excited about. There's two purples in this collection. And I know I think Cosmos was the one I was more excited about and this is the one I was least excited about. But it looks really nice. Yep, this is Stormy Morning. I hope this isn't boring. <laughs> And then, oh, a bluish one. It looks like it has like pink sparkle in there too. Oh, this is Peppermint Kiss. I was excited about this. This one looked very like greenish on the Instagram and it looked like something that'd be kind of like a unique inner corner. This looks more like a neutral. So far, these all look really sparkly. This is Tequila Sunrise which is one that looks super shifty and I was very excited about that one. Oh, this bright yellow. This is one that at first I wasn't that excited about and then like re-looking at the swatches on Instagram, I was like, okay. This is Marguerite Ah, which I think looked cool because it looked so bright. I think this is Cosmos, which is like a pinky purple shimmer. Cosmo, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering also because these looked kind of sheer on Instagram. They also did send PR to a creator that I follow on Instagram, which is interesting. And also looked very sheer and very sparkly. And I was wondering if these are going to be a little bit more like pixie dust, which I think was from the Fairy Tales collection. And I really like that shade. It's like really sheer, really sparkly. This is Bahama Mama, which I think is more of like an orange and pink. We have this blue one. Is this Blue Lagoon or is that another one? This is Electric Lemonade. And this is one that I wasn't that excited about because I feel like Luxie always comes out with shades that look like that, but we'll see. This one must be Blue Lagoon, which actually in person looks prettier. It looks like a little bit richer and I like that. Yeah, this is Blue Lagoon. I was just at the Blue Lagoon in Iceland a couple weeks ago. Oh, and I think this is the one that I was the most excited about. Oh God, this looks gorgeous. This is Fuzzy Flamingo. I guess I didn't say this, but this is the Happy Hour collections. That's why they all have like drink themed names. I'm just going to quickly rearrange these. I'm going to sort them by like what looks the closest color wise, just to try to like give you the most useful ones next to each other on the eyes. Okay, not all of them really have a companion, but that's fine. We're gonna start with one that looks really pretty. Oh, I'll zoom you in. So as usual, I don't have any primer or anything in my eyes. We're just gonna go right under my finger because that's how I tend to apply eyeshadow anyway. And usually I start with like the ones that I'm least excited about. And this one's just kind of working like this, but I think we're starting with the one I'm most excited about. So this is Tequila Sunrise. It's described as a pinkish bronze with gold and green shifts. I love the sound of that. I love how it's picking up, but it does look like it's going to sheer out a lot just because I didn't get like the most opaqueness on my finger. Oh, this is pretty. It does remind me a lot of that shade Pixie Dust, but like a little bit more muted. I don't think that one really has a shift though. And this, I can see the bronze up there 
and otherwise it kind of just looks like a light pink to me. I think that looks like something that I haven't really seen from Luxie. I just spun around to look at it in my mirror too and I feel like I can see, like it looks like the particles, the like the, the glitter flecks in there or whatever you want to call it, are like different colors. And also the pink does look pretty bright, like it stands off of my face a lot. I like this one. Yeah. Next we're gonna do the shade Cosmo, which is described as a metallic berry with pink and gold shifts. This feels exactly like the last one. Wow, on my finger. These are times that I'm like sad that not everything translates on camera, but it looks really multi-dimensional on my finger. Yeah, I think we could definitely see how sheer it is, which is something that I do like in a shadow. I feel like I don't mind using it over another shadow if I want to build it up. It's nice because you can kind of like customize the color a little bit more that way. And even I just like the effect of a sheer shadow. I think this one is pretty similar to this, but it doesn't seem to have as much of a flip to it. Looking in my mirror now, this one does look like the less special of these two. I think it's a pretty color on its own, but if you're looking for like transformative shifty shadows, this one's this one's more of that than this. I wouldn't say this one's like life-changing either, but it does have a pretty prominent bronze to it, and this one doesn't. Pretty though, but doesn't really have that much of a shift. I took this off and I could see a bunch of kind of like sparkle particles left around. So I did go over it with my foundation brush, which is just like dirty from yesterday. So just full disclosure of what's going on in my eyelid. The next one we're going to talk about is Fuzzy Flamingo. This is described as a peach shade with shifts of purple, gold, indigo, and pink. I'm really excited for this one. I am hoping it comes up a little bit less sheer ooh, than those first two. Oh, I have high hopes. I have high hopes. I have high hopes. I have high hopes. <gasps> wow. <gasps> That's so pretty. Wow. This one, putting it on, I could feel a little bit more of like a creamy texture to it. Like this one feels like a real full pigment eyeshadow going on. Wow. I love the shade of that base too. It's like a bright pinky peach. And then the shimmer on top of it is so bright. I love this shade. Wow, that's so pretty. <gasps> I feel like there's no way this isn't going to be my favorite shade from this collection. This is so pretty. It's nice too because, side note, I ordered the Menagerie Multichromes like three weeks ago now and they haven't shipped and I just got an email from them that it's because I ordered the shade Shell Yeah, which is from one of the recent palettes and they ran out of that one and thought they'd get more pigment in time, but they're not. So they wanted to know if I was okay getting a refund for that shade. And I was like, yeah, that's fine. This I feel like looks like what I expected Shell Yeah to look like. This looks like if Shell Yeah looked like this, I would be like, wow, this is a gorgeous shade and I love it. Like this would have exceeded my expectations for Shell Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm really excited that I have it now. I love the shadow. That's so pretty. I love the shadow. I feel bad for the shadow that's going next, which is Bahama Mama. It looks really pretty and pinkish and bright in the pan, so I am excited about that. It's described as a reddish pink shade with a deep orange shift. I feel like this one's going to remind me of Ohana from one of the recent collections. It does remind me of that, but maybe brighter. I wouldn't say the shade's terribly sheer, but I think you can tell that it's more sheer than this. It actually reminds me a lot of Ohana. I like that, that's pretty. I feel like both of these also could be considered like fun, but like wearable. Like they're like peachy shades. I think a, an eyeshadow appreciator would be like, ooh, I really like your eyeshadow, but I don't think people would be like, oh, clutching my pearls, what's she wearing on her eyes, you know? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what you can get away with wearing with the office, but I would wear both of these. Still, Fuzzy Flamingo stole my heart, but Bahama Mama is a nice shade. I like the sparkle to it, I like the brightness of it, and I hope to get use out of it. Okay, same story, I saw sparkles and I went over with my old foundation brush. 
Now we're going to step into the land of the blues. The first one is going to be Electric Lemonade. It's described as a sparkling sky blue with turquoise and indigo shifts. It does like on first glance remind me of I think Snow Cone from them from their ice cream collection. Oh and actually it looks a lot like what I remember Snow Cone looking like. Oh. Okay, I think this is better than Snow Cone. I love the brightness to this. I feel like any shade can get me by being bright. You can see how sheer it is. Like at first I almost thought there was a base to it, but I'm like, no, that base is just my eyelid. But I do think it makes it a good candidate to like, I don't know, there's like, there's perks of sheer or shades because you can layer them up nicely. You can use them as an inner corner without adding too much pigment to your inner corner. And I feel like, like light blues in particular, I love adding them to all kinds of looks. So this is pretty and I like it, but not head over heels, but I do like it. Based on looks, I'm more excited for Blue Lagoon than I thought I would be. It's described as a metallic teal blue with a gold shift and a flash of platinum. I don't know what that means, but I like the way it sounds. This to me looks very, very much like a pink sparkle, right? I've been forgetting to mention, but they all feel pretty similar to the touch. Like I can feel the particles come up, which is something that I like. Like they feel, they feel like thick, which to me translates to it being more sparkly. Wow. This is really pretty. This reminds me of Glass Slipper from Give Me Glow, but maybe like a little bit deeper, which I appreciate. It didn't say anything about pink in the description, right? Yeah, it doesn't say anything about pink, but to me, this looks like a mid-tone blue with tons of pink sparkle. You know, I think that the pink down here might be like just from my face in the previous shadows. But like all throughout the blue, doesn't that look like pink? Of the two blue shades, I definitely prefer Blue Lagoon. It's actually just been 45 minutes since you last saw me because my camera battery died. But I thought this would be an opportunity to talk about how these wear because this is the amount of creasing that I have from the past 45 minutes. I do have hooded eyes as you can see. So it's not crazy for something to crease on me, but I do feel like Luxie shadows crease more than higher end indie shadows, but I don't think it's that much of a problem because like this isn't a deal breaker. You don't see that like darker line most of the time anyway. And I find I can usually just kind of smear it out and that's, you know, it's acceptable. The thing that I was saying as I got cut off was that I could see the lighter shade Electric Lemonade working nicely in conjunction with Blue Lagoon and I wanted to just quickly tap that on it. I'd probably wear something like that. Ooh, I actually really like the brightness and like the tone that that brings in there. It would work really well as an inner corner shadow as well. The next two don't really coordinate at all, but they're kind of just what we're left with. And then the one that I want to use as my look for the outro is going to be our final one. So the next shadow is the shade Peppermint Kiss. It's not typically the kind of shadow that I look at from their previews and I'm like, ooh, that one. But it was the first one that they previewed that I was excited about because I think it would look so nice as an inner corner. It's described as a vibrant, quote, minty, green shade with a lilac shift. I don't know. I don't know why minty is so hypothetical, but I don't know how it's going to look all over the lid. Yeah, like nothing great. I don't see the mintiness really at all there. I think it looks kind of like light and slightly pinky. Maybe that's why mint was in quotations like that. But either way, I will use it later on for my look in my inner corner and with shades that like I think of as an inner corner shade I don't expect them to also perform really well over the lid so like it is what it is it has some shimmer to it I like shimmer but like color wise 
this isn't anything that I would wear on my lid like this. This next one I'm excited about, and I feel like it kind of falls into the same category as Blue Lagoon, because those both looked kind of darker in the swatches, and they were the two that I was least excited about, but in person it looks really bright and pretty. So this is the shade Stormy Morning. It's described as a deep lavender with shifts of pink and stormy gray. There's those quotations again. I like the idea of it being a deep lavender. Like, I see what they mean, and I like deep lavenders. I like deep lavenders more than I like purples. If you know, you know. This one reminds me of Kazookles from Davina and... There's a glitter multi-chrome from Cleona also. This might be a tad bit deeper, but like tone-wise, it's super similar. I think that's a pretty color, but I'm not blown away by the finish or anything. Let me see if I have one of those two shades I just mentioned handy. Okay, Stormy Morning and Davina Kazookles. They're really not that different, but you can see Kazookles is like a hair brighter. And just for fun, I'm just going to pat a little bit over the center like we just did for that blue one. Eh, I don't know. I don't know if that came alive as much as I wanted it to. I kind of think Kazookles would be... I feel like the prettier solution to this would be Kazookles tapped over a deeper purple and just kind of take Stormy Morning out of the equation. It's a pretty color. It's a nice, like, foily finish, but nothing I'm particularly impressed with. We're down to our last shade, which is the shade Marguerite Ta, which you can see is a bright yellow, and I figured I would make my look out of it because I'm wearing, like, a yellow shirt and yellow earrings, you know? I'm pretty picky about my yellows. I did recently declutter a bunch of yellow single shadows, but I like the brightness of this one, so it gets a pass. I feel like it's like a... It's like borderline neon yellow, and I'm into that. Even like has something greenish to it. It's like borderline like a chartreuse yellow, you know? It's described as a gold electric green shade. Green. With a shift of red slash orange, which sounds awesome. I did put on my Anastasia eye primer just because I'm making a look with this, and that's just what I do when I make a look. I don't see any shift in the finger so far, but it does look pretty. And because this one's last, it gets the special treatment of going on both of my eyes. This one feels a little bit tackier, like how Fuzzy Flamingo did, but it might have something to do with the fact that I have a primer down and not the formula. Actually, no, I think I would be able to tell if it felt like the others. So I, I think I can conclude that it feels a little bit thicker than the others when it's going down in my eyes. I like that. I see the green in the sparkles and I can see that orange in the base, even though it feels a little bit more subtle than with some of like the bases in their other shadows. Okay, I like this. This feels unique to me. This isn't a yellow that I hate. Yeah, this is cute and it's sparkly and I think I will get use out of this. I don't know what kind of look I'm gonna put on because I don't really like yellows with other colors, but like what if I tell myself this is a green because that's what it says. I don't know what I'm gonna do for my look, but I'm gonna figure it out and we'll be right back. Okay, this is our finished look and I have a lot of thoughts about it and a lot of thoughts on the collection because of it. This actually looks even prettier close up than it did in my mirror. In my crease, I just used the matte shade Cub from Menagerie. I really like that kind of like bright mustard yellow to use in yellow looks. And on my lid, I still have Margarita, which I did build up a little bit after I was adding my outer shade just to make sure it really like stayed and popped. And I can say I love the way that this shimmer looks. It just looks so bright. I can really see the green in it. I don't know, I think it's really pretty. When I was putting a shade on my outer corner, it occurred to me that there's no green in this collection. I guess like kind of the peppermint kiss, but like that's not really a green. And I thought that was interesting that this collection looks so summery 
but like there's not really a green in it. So I decided to use, I wanted to remember what it's called, but I don't. I know it's like two words, Bahama Mama. I used Bahama Mama for my outer top lid. I really like how that looks there. I did find that when I was at first just using a brush, it was going on really sheer, but it did look really pretty sheer over the yellow because it just added like a pink sparkle to the yellow that you couldn't even necessarily tell was a different shadow and I liked it. But I did go in with my finger a little bit also to like add that punch and I like it. And then for my lower lash line, I laid down a little bit of that crease shade, that cub. I used some of that Bahama Mama for the outer side of it. And then for most of the lower lash line, I used Fuzzy Flamingo, the shade that I was like dying over. And I didn't feel like it was really applying that well, but now looking at it, I guess it did. I was prepared to come and say that I wanted to use something that had more of a pigment to it on my lower lash line because I feel like when I use sheer shadows down there, it just looks like anonymous sparkle everywhere and I don't like how it looks in my face. Like it just looks like sloppier. But looking at it now, it did come out pretty nicely. For my inner corner, I used the shade Peppermint Kiss. And I'm kind of surprised by how much base pigment it looks like it has. When I was smearing it on my lid, it just seemed so like sheer and not too much to it. But doesn't that look like, that looks pretty stark there. So I'm not really sure what to make of that shadow. I was gonna say too, that like, if I could have my way, I would want something a little bit deeper on my lower lash line to give myself some definition. And I pulled out Celesta from Davina because I felt like doing my makeup, that's what I would have used. Maybe I'll add a little bit. I do like how it looks more than I thought I would, but I think with the little green in there, oh yeah, good call me. Yeah, it just makes the whole thing like a little grungier also. Oh yeah, pretty. Also unrelated, but I like using a little blush on my nose, but when I use a cream blush, I haven't figured out how to like put some on my nose and blend it without making my foundation go away. So then it just kind of looks like red glasses marks or something. I'm living with it, but just putting that out there. Okay, so it's time to rank the shadows today. And I feel like this is going to be kind of difficult because I feel like there weren't that many standout shades, but there's a lot of shades that like, if you have a hole in your collection, they could fill. But as always, my opinions on these are subject to change. This is just my like, this second impressions, just for fun, you know? And just to give ourselves an order for some hand swatches of these. I'm gonna say for right now, my least favorite shade in the collection is going to be Peppermint Kiss. I'm just surprised and confused because I know I didn't like how it looked all over my lid and I'm also not crazy about how it looks in my inner corner. So if it doesn't do either of those things, I don't know how I'm gonna wear it. So this is Peppermint Kiss. The next shadow, again, not confident about any of these, but I'm gonna say Cosmo just because it didn't really impress me that much on my lid. It didn't really have much of a shift to it. It didn't really have much of a base to it. It's pretty, but I don't think I would reach for this over all of the gorgeous pinks that I have in my collection. That I recently just posted a video of me swatching all of them, by the way. For my seventh favorite, I'm gonna say Stormy Morning, just because this one didn't have much of a shift to it. And as I was saying, it's kind of like similar to me as Kazookles, but not as like wow and versatile as Kazookles. I will note with this collection, I feel like the quality of the shadows was a lot more consistent than it usually is. I find Lucy shadows to often be all over the place. Some are like really sheer and slippery. Some are really pigmented and textured. These felt all pretty much the same to the touch, which is why I didn't mention it for each individual shadow. And while it varied in how much base pigment they had, they all were pretty shiny on the lid, pretty shimmery on the lid. I'm gonna say the next one is Tequila Sunrise. I thought this was pretty and I did see a flip to it, but I don't know. I like the brightness of the other shadows better. It didn't blow my mind, but I think this one I could 
get to know better and I could end up really loving it. I don't think that's gonna happen with the bottom three though. Next up's gonna be Electric Lemonade. I really like a light sheer shimmery blue. I do have a lot of light sheer shimmery blues, but I, I feel like because of the brightness of this one, it does have the potential to become like one of my favorites. Like this could be like a go-to inner corner shade. I'm gonna put this in my inner corner right now. I do already have Peppermint Kiss in there, so I don't know how well it's going to show up on top of that. But that's fun. I don't think it would look as pigmented if it wasn't on top of that other shade because I think it has less of a base than Peppermint Kiss does. But yeah, I am excited to use this and it is the type of shade that I find myself using very often. The next one's going to be Blue Lagoon, which I like just a little bit better because it just felt more unique and I really like the sparkle in there. It doesn't look that spectacular in the swatch, but it was pretty on my eye. In third place is going to be the shade Bahama Mama. I really didn't know how I was going to rank this one, but after using it on the outer part of my lid, I really love how that turned out. And I could see myself adding this to a lot of different looks and just like adding some like brightness. I feel like the shade of it is unique in my collection. Cause when I think of like really bright pinks, I think of like Shine by SD Hottie, but I'm realizing that one, which I just posted a video using, today, so maybe for you like tomorrow or two days ago. That one isn't as sparkly as this one is, and I could definitely see myself adding this in to a lot of looks. This look wouldn't be as pretty as it is without this in it. And the orange flip is just like a big bonus. Second place is going to my lovely lid shade, Margarita. I really am just impressed with how this turned out. I love how it teeters on the edge of yellow and green. I love how shiny it is and I especially love how it's definitely not like anything else that I have in my collection. I'm picky with yellows and this one is a really good yellow. This might be my favorite yellow shimmer that I have in my collection. I guess that counts. I guess that depends if you count Lightyear from Terra Moons as a yellow or if you count like Iridescence as just like their own category because like that one might be this. But other than that one, this is my favorite yellow in my collection. And first place, to no one's surprise, Fuzzy Flamingo. I called it when I used it. This one is going to be one of my like favorite Luxie shades of all time. I already know this is like up there with angel wings. It's just so gorgeous. It's gonna get a swatch down here. Yeah, I can feel touching it too, that this one, it, it feels a little bit different when I swatch it. Like picking it up in the pan, it feels the same as the other ones, but swatching it, it just feels like a little bit creamier. But that flip is so gorgeous. The sparkle in the light is so gorgeous. And I'm gonna use this one like tomorrow. I'm really excited about that. But that's gonna be everything for today. If you enjoyed this, please give me a like and subscribe, stick around. I try to keep enough of an edited collection that I can continually showcase my single shadows. I don't wanna be a person that just like buys things and talks about it once. So if you like these and you wanna see them in action more, they will be in action more along with a lot of other gorgeous shadows and Thank you so much for being here. Bye.